obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate the engine room ventilation system of a ship. On ships, the power needed to start compressors, pumps, fans, etc. are all supplied by electric motors. The engine room occupies the largest part of the space allocated to various parts inside the ship. Due to the accumulation of the, all this machine in this space, is, it is necessary to study how heat is transferred in this space. Optimal design of air conditioning system to supply combustion air inside equipment and regulate temperature and humidity inside this space is one of the most important points in the design of engine rooms and shipbuilding. Engineers and researchers have always tried to optimize the design of the air conditioning system for the ships by representing new methods. Simulation and analysis of the ventilation system related to the ship's engine room can be a great help to better explore new and innovative methods. This project, the ventilation system of a ship's engine room is investigated. This room consists of an air inlet of which the air enters with a mass flow rate of 35 kg per second and two pressure outlets. The diesel engine and motors generate heat equal to 12,500 and 8,333 watt per meter cube respectively. While working, the injected air, which has a temperature of 300 Kelvin, has the responsibility of cooling the engine room and lowering the temperature of engines and motors. Standard model with the use of a standard valve function is applied for solving the turbulent flow and an energy model is also activated. The geometry for analyzing this simulation consists of a room in which two motors and four diesel engines exist, and the geometry is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. The geometry of this project is meshed in ANSYS meshing software, and the mesh type used for this geometry is on a structure. The total element number is equal to 706,053. By clicking on display button, a new window will appear, which you can see different part, parts of your geometry. Now in the appear window, which shows you the names of the different parts of your geometry, you can click and select each part and then click on display uh, so that the software will show you that part. Now as was previously mentioned about the heat generation rate inside diesel motors and electric motors, uh, under the cells and conditions section under the solid by double clicking on the part diesel zone in the appeared window you can see that we have enabled the source term. Now as for the electric models if you click on source terms and click on edit button in the appeared window you can see that here we have defined the value of heat generation rate to be equal to 833 watt per meter cube. Now after clicking on the edit button in the appeared box, as was previously mentioned, you can see that the mass flow rate defined for each boundary is equal to 35 kg per second. Also by clicking on the thermal tab, you can see the total temperature of the airflow entering this boundary. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you will you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change the discretization into other formats, like you can change them into first order advent and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well.
After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than these criterion, uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. Now in this part, we have extracted 3D and 2D contours by the means of CFD Post software. Now in order to create and extract a 3D contour, we click on Volume Rendering button and accept the appeared window. After that, on the low left side of the software window, in front of the variable section, we select our desirable variable. For example, in this slide, we are going to select the temperature variable. After selecting your variable, by clicking on Apply, the software will show you the 3D contour. Now in this contour, you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain and you can also see the temperature of diesel engines and electric motors here. Now in order to extract another 3D contour, all you have to do is to change the variable. For example, in this slide, we have changed our variable from temperature to velocity. After that, just like the previous slide, by clicking on Apply, the software will show you the contour. Now in this slide you can easily see the velocity distribution inside our computational domain. Also it can easily be observed the velocity of the airflow near the inlet boundary where it has entered the computational domain. Now using this method and defining different planes on different elevation, you can see the temperature at different elevation inside our computational domain. For example in this slide you can see how the temperature has a lower value near the inlet boundary, which means that the air has gained and increased its temperature in order to cool down the diesel and electric motors. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.